This is C sharp, and it's boring. I mean, there's not even any abstract art. But this, this is Pete. And you might be wondering what's so special about it. Well, you see this image? Yeah, that's the code. This is gonna be interesting. So you're probably wondering how this thing works. Well, basically, Pete has 20 colors, like this. Every time you move a direction on this grid, it calls a command based on how many colors you move. Here's an example. Let's say we have four colors, green, red, blue, and yellow. We start on green. If we move down to yellow, let's say that prints the word subscribe. If we move it right, it prints two. Down, subscribe, right, two, up, spooter, left, code. So now that you know how it works, let's hop right into it. So right away, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I decided to go to the wiki. Not really, but it doesn't matter. I spent a while looking what the methods do and started working. My first attempt was to add a four to whatever number you input. So let me just test it real quick and... So yeah, that definitely didn't work. And you want to know why? Because I forgot literally all of the rules in Pete. Anyways, I fixed it and it worked. So after that, I decided to have a look at some of the projects other people had made. So after that shock, I decided I needed to figure out just what game I was going to make. I decided on a Magic 8-Ball program, because it seemed easy enough. First, though, I had to figure out how to make an if statement. That only took 40 minutes. Now I need to output letters, so let's hear. Uh, okay, it's based on how many squares were in the last block. Okay, I'll just check how many squares I need for Y. You are now 58% closer to having carpal tunnel. And it works. I am never doing this again. Here you go, magic gate ball, except it's a magic two ball, because it only says yes or no. But anyway, bye.